guys welcome to my channel today we're going to do your love reading please remember this is a general reading timing is fluid everything you need to know is in the description box if you'd like to request a personal reading uh, or check out my video playlist link uh, if you're new to my channel i am doing a giveaway at the end of every month i'm giving away two personal readings to enter you just need to subscribe and like if you're already a subscriber uh, you just need to okay let me say that again <laughs> if you're if you're not a subscriber you just need to subscribe like and comment if you already are one you just need to like and comment i don't know why i got tongue-tied on that one but all right so be sure to turn on your notification bell bell god i can't talk <laughs> must be the coffee all right so turn on your notification bell so you can be aware of my upcoming videos because i will publish a winner's video the first week of every month so good luck aries if you choose to enter and let's get started here i'm going to pull two cards here from the romance angels for aries and love let's get two cards for aries there's one oh that one wanted to come out too okay wow aries so the first card you have here is true love this is a romance of a lifetime wow and wedding this is the situation involves marriage here so some of you there may be a new person coming in okay that's going to uh, lead to marriage this can be somebody already in your life that you feel is your true love okay can you can be married to this person or in a commitment uh, or this can be somebody that uh, you see yourself with, all right? Now, remember, roles can be reversed here. So take the, the messages, how they resonate with you, you know, <clears throat> or if you're a cross-watcher. Okay, so let's get started with your tarot. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. I pray that this reading for Aries is for the highest good and purest intentions. I pray that you give Aries the accurate messages and details they need to know for their journey. I pray that this gives them clarity and healing if needed. I thank you for your love, your wisdom, and your guidance. And may there always be love and light here. Amen. All right. Let's cut the cards here. Okay. All right, we're gonna pull three cards for the overall energy here, Aries, for you and your person. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What's the overall energy here for Aries and their person? Let's get three cards, please. Let's get three cards. All right, we have the world card. We have the eight of swords. All right, we got two here. We have the Page of Wands and the Empress. Two cards ooh, for your energy. Wow, we got three cards. We have Three of Coin, King of Wands, and the Strength card. And two cards for your person's energy. We have the Three of Cups. We're going <laughs> to gave me three cards okay ace of swords and the emperor and i was actually thinking okay i know spirit's going to do this they want to balance it out so they gave me three and three okay bottom of the deck here we have the justice card okay could be dealing with the libra all right give me just a moment here aries to hone in on the energies All right. So Aries, I'm going to call up the signs for those of you who like to hear the signs first. Okay, we talked about Libra here. Uh, we have uh, Aquarius and Gemini. We have Aries, Leo, Sag. We have uh, your yeah, I said your your energy Aries. We have Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have all the energies here. Okay, strong. Uh, All right, so let's get started here. So we have the world card, all right? 
And you also have here the Eight of Swords. Okay, I feel here Aries, um, I feel like this is a situation, okay, uh, where things aren't moving here, all right? I feel like there is, you know, you're going through a cycle here, okay? And I feel like it's kind of come to a standstill here. It may be because of fear here or just the feeling of being stuck. Um, but I feel here there's a situation with the Justice card here where you're needing to gain some balance here, okay? Uh, where you're, you're feeling like there may be something here that needs to be uh, done right, okay? So there may be a situation with your person here where they may have done something that you feel you want justice for is what I'm getting here. And this may be uh, this block here that I'm seeing here that you're, you have some fears or maybe some distrust with this person for whatever reason. I feel like there may be some distance between you and this person, whether this is physical distance or, uh, you know, maybe the two of you, there's not a whole lot of communication right now for whatever reason here. Okay. But I do feel here, you know, there's a sense of somebody wanting an apology here or, you know, something just is not right or in balance is what I'm getting. Now you have here the Page of Wands and you have the Empress card, okay? What I'm getting here because of these fears, all right, um, you know, whether it's your person or you, uh, I feel like there's not a lot of growth in the situation right now, all right? I feel here um, you could be dealing with a younger energy here or you could be dealing with somebody who um, is immature or low vibrational. I'm getting that energy as well, okay? Wow, okay, what's going on here, Aries? Because these were two great cards and now I'm looking at this and it's making me question here. We're definitely gonna have to clarify some of these cards. So we have the Three of Coins the King of Wands and the Strength card here for your energy. So I feel here, Aries, um, I feel here you're busy working here, okay? So even though you may be feeling stuck in the situation or there may be fears in the situation or you may be dealing with somebody at a distance or, you know, somebody who, um, you know, you're not feeling a lot of development here, um, in the situation, I feel like you're very, uh, you're being strong through this situation. You're focusing here on your money here. Um, you may be working on some, you know, specific project here. This can also be you wanting to take some action here, you know, to try and make things work. Okay. This can be a marriage where you're trying to, to work on things or, um, a partnership here. I do feel here you're also trying to be strong, okay? Maybe you're not sharing a whole lot of emotion here, um, you know, trying to keep your emotions in balance here. Now, your person's energy, we have the Three of Cups, the Ace of Swords, and the Emperor here. You know, I always get with this emperor card with this deck, it's like it's about the facts, okay? This person's all about the facts. They just want to know the facts, okay? I And I take it as the energy, you know, what they're showing you, what their actions are. It is what it is, and it's nothing more than that. And that's what I'm getting the energy here with this emperor card for your person's energy. Okay, we have the three of cups, and we have the ace of swords. Okay, I feel here, you know, this could very well be um, a third party situation. Okay, you may have cut this person out of your life um, or they may have, but I feel you may have cut this person out of your life because of a third party situation. All right. Now for others, if this is not third party situation for you, I do feel here this person wants a new start and they're they're planning okay they're trying to be methodical about it and plan how they can you know come back to you okay have union here 
but I do feel here, you know, this person, um, uh, there was some injustice here is what I'm getting here. There was something here that wasn't fair to you. And that's why this person I feel here is planning. Okay. They're trying to figure out how they can make things right. And that's probably why here with the three of cups, I'm seeing, you know, uh, low vibration here for that's only going to be for people where they're, you know, and third party can be other things, not just another lover. But if it is another person or lover, another lover here, then that's why I'm picking up low vibrational here. All right. So let's clarify the cards because it's still, it's a bit uh, not entirely clear here. All right. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Why is the world card here, please? Why is the world card here, please? Some of you may be feeling stuck. Uh, you know, like I said, some of you may have cut this person out of your life or may want to cut this person out of your life, but you're, it's like you don't have, uh, maybe you're just feeling stuck, not knowing what to do, have fears about taking any action. Why is the world card here, please? Okay, we got two cards here. We have the king of cups and the high priestess here. All right. So you could be dealing with a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces here, but I'm getting here that, um, like I said, this person could be at a distance with you, or you're just feeling stuck, like things aren't moving, uh, you know. I feel here there could be secrets, or this person could be holding back how they feel about you. That's why there's distance here, or, you know, uh, not a whole lot of communication. I'm getting here, or this person is just not communicating to you how they feel, all right? Or this person is being secretive, all right? Now, the secretive is going to be for those who are involved in some type of third-party situation. Why is the Eight of Swords here, please? Why is the Eight of Swords here, please? All right, we have the Six of Wands, the Ace of Wands, okay. So I do see here, you know, victory in the situation. I do see here uh, your person is going to come in with an apology. They're not giving up on you is what I'm getting here. They're very determined. Um, this can also be you wanting an apology. Maybe you're feeling stuck here uh, because this person needs to make things right here with the justice card. So I feel here there's some, you know, truce or apology that needs to be made here for things to go forward is what I'm getting. Uh, why is, uh, for others, you know, this can just be your person wanting to come in. Like I said, they're strategizing here. Uh, your person's not giving up is what I'm getting. Why is the page of wands here and the empress card here, please? Okay, we have the nine of cups. Okay, yeah. So, I feel like this person was slow to offer anything. They were slow to uh, communicate how they feel about you. And, um, you know, I feel here, you know, now this person is very worried here, okay? Because like I said, I feel how your energy is coming across, like you're just focusing on your, your finances, you're, you're doing very well. Um, you're, I feel here you're controlling your emotions here. And now I feel like your person's worried, okay? Uh, they're realizing here that uh, they were a very slow mover here in the situation. And, you know, like I said, they were slow to communicate how they felt here. Uh, you know, maybe because there's a there was a third person involved in the situation, and now I feel here they're worried. Okay, they're worried here. That's why they're they're planning here. All right, I feel here they're looking at all the facts, they're looking at all the details here, and they're trying to figure out how they're going to come back in um, and make this right here. And you know, like I said, some of you could be married to this person or were in a commitment with this person, all right, or saw this as somebody that you could be committed to, all right? 
we're going to see here, why is the strength card here for Aries? Why is the strength card here? Okay, yeah, look at this. You're holding out. You're holding out for that cup of love. I feel here too, some of you are open to new love. All right. I feel some of you are open to new love, but I feel here you're waiting for this person to come around and express how they feel. Okay because this person was hiding their feelings from you. They were hiding their emotions with you. There wasn't a whole lot of uh, movement here. I do feel here there's, there was something else here in the way that was blocking this connection here. And now I feel they're a bit worried. Why is the uh, emperor here? Why is the emperor here, please? We have, yep, the queen of pentacles. Let me get one more. Huh? The, the, oh wow, okay, the Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles here. Interesting, interesting, okay. I talked about third party uh, situation here. I feel here, there are two energies here, okay. You got a Nine of Pentacles and you have a Queen of Pentacles here. All right, so for some of you, that's that third party energy, okay, for others, um, I feel here this person does want to make an offer here. They see you as somebody who is doing very well at this time. I told you I feel here you're working on your coin, okay? So you're very grounded. You're very solid. You're doing well for yourself right now, and this person is seeing that, all right? So it's making them step up to the plate here. But for others, I feel like this could be two energies that this person is dealing with you and somebody else, all right? Okay, so let's uh, pull three cards here. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What is the possible outcome here for Aries? What is the possible outcome here for Aries? All right, yep. Ace of Wands, they're coming back in. Ace of Wands twice. They want another opportunity. Ooh, Nine of Wands. All right. They're feeling like maybe... Um, hmm. Let me get one more card before I say anything. And we have the Chariot and we have the King of Coin. Yeah, they're coming back uh, in with an offer here with the King of, of Coin here. Could be dealing with the Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. So you have the Ace of Wands and you have the Nine of Wands, okay? I feel like this person, <laughs> this person is feeling defeated. I feel like this person um, is not too sure whether you're going to accept their apology they're not too sure um if you're going to want to work on things with them all right but i do see here they want another opportunity i feel for some they're coming in with an apology here uh, but i feel like they're also waiting for the perfect timing here all right uh, i feel like they've been doing a lot of thinking about this and like i said i feel this person is trying to plan or be methodical on how to come in all right because they know that they, they did you wrong here in some way, all right? But we also have here the chariot could be dealing with the cancer here. So I feel here, you know, this is an indication. This person was, was moving very, very slow in the past here with the Knight of Pentacles. I feel here now this person is going to move pretty quickly here, all right? They're going to move pretty quickly here. However, this is somebody here, you know, with the emperor in this card here. I'm feeling here this is somebody here who likes to be in control here, okay? I'm also getting, I know this sounds strange, I'm also getting here with the chariot. You may just move on from this person, okay? Those of you who are in this third uh, party situation, some of you may just take control of your life, okay? Uh, and, you know, move forward, not looking back here, okay? moving on to better things okay you know it's going to be different for all of you all right aries i hope you gained some clarity in this reading again if you want to enter the giveaway subscribe like comment i appreciate it i hope you all have a wonderful rest of day or evening and i'm sending you angel love